It's Tuesday, and that means it is Tribal Tuesday. The knights are suiting up. It's time to get radic Ulus. Oh, that's right. We got Radic or Radich, Tile Zealot. Uh, this is one of my brother's favorite cards. He's been uh, really actually enjoying the um, the alchemy cards added to Brothers War. He's a big fan of Brothers War, and he likes the format with the alchemy cards. And he is <laughs> really a big fan of this guy in the draft. And uh, so I thought I'd build a brawl deck around him because uh, we're always looking for Night Tribal. Uh, commanders and what this guy does is uh, it's a 4-4 hexproof from white hexproof from black and when one or more knights you control attack you draft a card from his spellbook and his spellbook is all pretty good cards um, pretty much I think we're playing every single one of these in the deck as well so it's just like drawing an extra card and uh, of course we've got the circle of loyalty which was a, quite a controversial card back in uh, Throne of Eldraine. Here it is at the top end of the deck. Uh, costs one less for each knight we control, so it can be quite cheap to cast. It's going to buff all our creatures, and then when we cast a legendary spell, we make a 2-2 knight with Vigilance, and we can also pop out those knights if we got nothing else going on in our hand. So it seemed like a powerful card, but uh, <laughs> Throne of Eldraine was a very powerful set, as many of you remember. So uh, that didn't really do anything, but it's a night tribal deck. We got to play it. What else we got? We've got um, stuff that can protect our creatures, like Dauntless Bodyguard. We got um, some other weird alchemy knights, like Banalish Knight Counselor, which is a two-one enlist, and you can get a boon uh, that gives a creature the next creature you cast plus one plus one. Champions of Tear is a double team. Um, which is another uh, alchemy thing where when you attack with it, you get another copy in your hand. So this is actually quite powerful if we can get it down and attack with it. And then um, it also gives a boon when you cast your next creature spell. That creature enters with a plus one, plus one counter, a flying counter, or a lifelink counter. A little bit of dealer's choice on that. Um, but yes, we're going to try to play a lot of low-cost knights, as you can see, so that when they can attack. Of course, uh, Ambitious Farm Hand can turn into a knight. Uh, and uh, when we do, this is cool, Worthy Knight. When we cast a knight, we're going to get a 1-1 one, one human. There's there's my brother right now saying he's uh, up in alchemy. Or he's up in uh, getting up to mythic, I think. Uh, follow him on his uh, Twitch channel, of course. Uh, we got Arvad Weatherlight Smuggler. It's a it's another alchemy, new alchemy guy. Death Touch Lifelink, 1-1, one, one, beginning of the end step. If a creature died this turn, it gets perpetual plus X plus X. And then uh, that ability also triggers if it's in our graveyard. So we can like you know bring it back with the adventure side of Order of Midnight and such. Um, what else we got? Triumphant Adventurer. This got boosted in alchemy. It's a 2-1 Death Touch. Um, gets First Strike on your turn and whenever it attacks you venture into the dungeon that's cool corpse knight wintermore um arnville tactician manelish marshall knight's charge this is another one people might not know about whenever a knight you control attacks each opponent loses one life and you gain one life this was only published in the brawl decks it wasn't in the regular um throne of eldraine thing so anyways that is the deck Thanks to everyone who is already a subscriber. Just a reminder, this is a very small channel. Don't uh, get a lot of recommendations from the YouTube algorithm. So hitting the like, hitting the subscribe, leaving a comment. Very helpful for me. And will also increase the chances that they'll ever show you another Tribal Tuesday video again. All right. And with that, let's go play some matches. Oh, I forgot the rest of the deck. <laughs> um, we got a lot of removal. We got a little bit of stuff that can attack our opponent's hand. Maybe hit a... Uh, Board wipe or something. Uh, Malachia Rebirth. Uh, removal, removal, removal. Some protection. Some ramp with Arcane Signet. Maze Mind. Or uh, Mind Stone. Maze Mind Tone. Draw. Tome of Legends. Draw. Agonim's Awakening. Good for the creatures that get a little bonus from coming back from the graveyard. Um, and then uh, just for funsies, I <laughs> throw in a Chroma's Memorial in here. Uh, if we can slam this down we get to seven mana slam this down all our knights will get flying first strike vigilance trample haste and protection from black and from red so that would be cool all right 
And then, of course, lots of lands. Castle Ardenvale, super on flavor. Anyways, that's the deck. Let's now go to the matches. Okay, Radix in charge of our days and our nights. Against Nibaf. We got white mana, we got black mana. We got a turn one play. So we're going first. Giada is not the easiest. Historica Barrel. Get a knight down. It might be worth fatal pushing that speaker. Might be worth fatal pushing Jada. If we can slow him down that way. Get Adeline going next turn. The vitality. Yeah, hate to see it. Um, yeah, they want to block the damage. Got to come back. Nope. The Bishop of Wings. That is a must kill, and we have no removal. Let's hope we get some removal off the top. Put foot boots. Um. I think we attack with the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Are they going to double block there? matter and let's see what's in their hand oh, okay well that can enter tap sure why not They're going to gain four life just casting their, uh, you know, they don't cast their commander. Interesting. And they haven't popped the swift foot boots on anybody. I guess it costs one to equip. Expert from white is pretty good against them. Maybe I should have gotten my commander out last turn. All the automatic swift foot boots. Kind of messing me up to have to hold up the activation on the Knight of the Ebon Legion. All 
right, so this to me says they have a trick, right? Because otherwise I just pump this guy. What's their trick here? Fateful absence, okay. There's Jada. There they gain another four life. For three in the air, sure. Aha, cut down. They didn't activate Speaker of the Heavens. I guess they don't have seven more life. I think we have to kill Speaker of the Heavens. I'd love to kill Jada. With the cut down. Could kill the bishop, actually. I guess the speaker is the, the main threat at the moment. And, uh... Well, let's hold that back. We don't know what we're going to draw. We'll trade Adeline for something. If need be. Aha. Uh -huh. Probably history Benelli. Well, let me kill the bishop. That's a white mana next turn. Dawn of Hope. Okay. Bit another creature. Flies me for two. Maybe. Flies me for a bunch. Oh, well. Welly, welly, well. Hit Reaper. Yeah. Cavalier of Knight's gonna be good. That was a weird block. Take the uh, Benelish Honor Guard. We are at 12. They can pump out 1-1 one, one lifelinkers. We can help them draw cards. That is protected. We're down to 5. Real tactician. Probably a bit late. His life link. Kill the three three. Cavalier of Dawn. That swift foot boot.
All right, so if they don't cast an angel, we can survive. If they do cast an angel, we're toast, right? Because Giada, I'm going to put one plus one plus one counter on it. Doomblade that. Can't afford to Cavalier now. Oh, okay. <laughs> we beat Jada up against three. I think a Rusco Clockmaker. I don't even know what that is. I've been so out of it. Well, we're definitely. Well, actually, we have a black and a white source, but I think we're still going to mulligan. Try to get three mana sources. Of course, the Chroma's Memorial is like a mulligan when it's in your opening hand. What does this Rusco do? It's a 3 3. Oh, this is the one that makes the Midnight Clock. This guy is actually really strong. I think that's going to be a theme of what we're up against. Um, I'll just play that because we don't have a swamp to put it in untapped. So. We don't have anything to play on one. There. Popping off with the Signet. Okay. Jiminy Christmas. Well, let's get the... There you go. You can't gain life. Ha <laughs> ha. Give us a nice for that. Maybe get Arvod going here. We've got Rusko. Going to be popping off with that Midnight Clock unless we can get removal. This does not remove an artifact, sadly. Um, we can get First Strike. Oh, they can't block anyway, so... Do this, let's do that. They already popped off a lot of their non creature spells. Okay, they're gonna bounce my guy. Nope, they're just gonna draw a card. Okay. I'm gonna seize. We got four counters on the old midnight clocky. Um, well, they have three mana up. I'm gonna hope they don't have a counter spell, but they probably do. We miss our land drop. Yeah, Sirens Ruse, sure. Ticket Midnight Clock is not legendary. Play him. Man. So many midnight clocks. It's all of all. Agadim's awakening. <sighs> yeah, let's just take the damage. We're not getting beat by damage in this game. We're going to get just beat by overwhelming card draw. Get our commander down while they're tapped out here. Aha. Cavalier of Dawn can blow up one thing. Um, 
Valiant Knight can buff all our knights. I guess, and we can cast it, so I guess that saddles that. Watch us draw planes here. We're going to need to kill uh, the 8 8 that they make from Ominous Seas, which could be at any moment, too. Gonna be able to make multiple eight eights from ominous seas. Maybe we should have uh, hit the ominous seas with our uh, feed the swarm. Saved it. Don't remember if it was out there. We'll do a death touch first strike here. They get twelve. We got a whole new grip of cards. Very ominous sea indeed. Venerable Knight doesn't help. I mean, the Guardian of Faith can save whatever they block with the ominous sea. Can't double spell then. Just try to have to try to beat him. I think of an eye, they got that again. Huh. Well, we could. Phase that out. Let them that back to our hand. Uh-huh. Jeez, what a boring deck to play against. Ooh, History of Banalia. <laughs> we could get a Guardian of Faith. Well, Knight of the Ebon Legion lets us double spell this turn, so I think we'll do that. See how they block. Let's save that. Give our commander. Trade right there. Play Knight of the Ebon Legion. Rod's getting plussed. They're going to be able to drain us for quite a bit without our Knight of Dust Shadow in play. E to the archive. Oh, busto. Go get your time warp. Guess I need more board wipes in my deck. Specifically ones that take out artifacts and enchantments. Iliad's intervention, maybe? Well, look at me, I'm just sitting here with four lands. <coughs> Rusko's going off! Alright. 
Enough of this. Taking too long. My favorite kind of lettuce is radicchio. Not really. But I have to say that because I'm playing radic. Radich. Uh, yeah, we're gonna turn one play. Badoong. I guess with the Banalish Marshall in hand, we should have played the possible white source, so we can play that on curve. Whoopsie. Whoopsers Duperson. Because Minache. Um, see if we can get him to attack with the Luminarch Aspirant, and we can seal it away. Hilda is down. Oh, they're just using for mana. So we'll get this off the battlefield pre-combat. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's right. Um... Uh, do I let them untap with Catilda, or just take it out? Um, nice to get the Banalia train running. But... Keeps pausing like they have they have some kind of zero mana effect. Unfortunately, Akroma's Memorial in the opening hand is a bit like having a Mullion. Mentor of the Meek. Somehow doubt the game is going to go on until we get 7 mana, but you never know. Still is pretty powerful. Pretty, pretty powerful. Um, yeah, let's just draw a card. Maybe because this guy draws us so many cards, we should be uh, running more lands. Huh. So if we get another land, Cavalier of Night is within reach. Um, otherwise, maybe getting Death Touch Lifelink is... I guess that's probably a better ability. Also, will be cheaper with the Montu's Monument. We get that down. Rasad. Ah, yes, we have Hexproof from White, so they didn't really have much choice there. Isolated Chapel. Ah. So, I could do Bond to Murderous Rider. Having a 2 3 seems pretty good. Should I attack? Not for now. Now they can drop Katilda and then cast a 3-drop. These are all humans, of course. Next turn, start buffing up the team. I really wish we were a little bit wider, Benalia and the Marshall. Outland Liberator. Okay, so they can get back their Luminarch if they want.
they do. Plus up the Guardian of New Vanellia. Oh, there's our Circle of Loyalty. Let's do this. Maybe Valiant Knight? No, maybe Cavalier of Dawn. A little bit of removal. Not gonna block? Oh, interesting. Okay. In the turn. I won't give away. We've got a little surprise for them. Playing Cathar Commando not at flash speed. Interesting choice. Doesn't really matter if we have to pay one or two for Black Lance, so they can blow up the bond too if they want. They seem to be a bit stuck on mana. How much is this to specialize? That's five to specialize. Ranger class, okay. Hopefully they're not drawing anything off Mentor the Meek. Okay, we make the Guardian bigger, we're gonna attack. You not? Know okay, well. This guy down anyway. Target. Well, it's just going to read the ability. Realize it doesn't matter. Goes away the next turn. Ooh, okay. Field courtyard. Uh, that does come into play tapped. We could blow up the ranger class. They get a 3 3 golem if we do. I think let's do a max discount circle of loyalty. And a history of Manalia. Manalia, I barely know ya. Um do we have any good attacks here? Guess they would have to Lose a couple creatures to block Rao. Oh, Smitten Swordmaster, yeah. That's pretty good. Gonna chump block with the wolf. Alright, Vikiris, what you got? Looks like they're aiming for the Banalish Marshal. Adeline, great card. One more mana, we got a Chroma. Oh, that's probably my brother. Hey, I'm recording, then we can uh, we can play after, okay? Good. All right. Do, 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 do. Going to see him soon in person for the holidays. We don't get him mana. Um, can't quite do a Chroma's Memorial yet. Champions of 
ihr Drain your furbush. Bajing. And play this. Bajing. What should we give it? Flying? It already has lifelink. Interesting. It won't let you give it lifelink? We'll go fly. The more flyers we have, the more guarantee we're just going to get through in the next turn. That's right. Take out the Circle of Loyalty now. The History of Benalia is going to give plus two, plus one next turn, so it's even more powerful. You can draw land. Ooh, boy. Look out. Lucamina. Get out of the land. Sought a land. Past tense of Seek. Or in the case of this game, do you say seeked? Let me know. Leave a comment. We're at 34. Opponents at 2, but they're not giving up. Our opponent has some tenacious... Huh? A giant trampling Adeline. Huh. Well, let me just block this guy with a life linker. Oh no, we're down to 24. I mean 27. Ah, oh, not a land. I was hoping to get the Acroma's Memorial. <laughs> An opponent gives it up to the knights. Bow down. Kneel before the knights. Okay, well, thank you for checking out Radik. Radik. Radic. Leave a comment how it should be said. Um, as always, in the description uh, of the video, I will put a link to the deck list. And um, yeah, it's a pretty fun deck. It's uh, not super competitive, but as you can see, you get the right draws, you can win. Um, probably about a 50% win rate in my testing. Um, I, a lot of it was on the phone, so I don't have the stats, but anyways, thanks so much for joining me here in the attic. Merry Brawlsmas, and, uh, catch you in the next video. Adios.